As you click on this video, I know where you're coming from. You don't have experience in digital marketing. Let me tell you a story. I was also a person who had no marketing experience. Actually, I graduated with an IT degree learning all these programming languages. But soon I realized I hate coding and I love creative. So I decided to get into marketing without experience and later digital marketing. Instead of joining a big company, I chose to join a small tech startup who needs a marketing intern. I learned every core skills in marketing, starting from website management, content marketing, email marketing to event marketing. So in this video, I will share with you how you can do the same and talking from my own experience, what are the things that you should do sooner to get you there faster? The first thing I want you to do is forget all the resources that you get from the internet now and understand your unfair advantage first. So what are the unique skills, talents and experience and package it in a way that is relevant to digital marketing and makes you unique. So it will differentiate yourself and the rest of the candidates who also don't have experience. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I don't have any advantage because I don't have experience. And I can guarantee you have an unfair advantage. It's just because you don't realize that. Like for my case, I don't have any experience before joining marketing, but I have a technical background. I know coding and it just took me a few years to realize that was my unique advantage in digital marketing. Because digital marketing, you need to be comfortable with codes, reading technical documentation. So take some time to reflect on what are your unfair advantage and is somehow related to digital marketing. What makes you unique in the eyes of your future employers and make them convinced? Perhaps you get a great AdSense and you have done some personal ad projects or you have good following on your personal social media account and you know what are some secret hacks to grow a social media following. They are your strength and related to digital marketing. Then emphasize that on your resume, cover letter or your LinkedIn profile or when you are having an interview. The next thing is to learn the basics. You need to know these basics before you start getting more practical experience. Please do not start immediately doing any projects without even understanding the basics. When I first started working as a marketing intern, I knew nothing about digital marketing, not even general marketing. I just thought all oh, marketing is about selling, it's promotion with some leaflets, and it took me lots of time self-learning, failure to finally understand how all these pieces tie together. So you need to understand how marketing works. And for the basics, what I mean is what are some key channels in digital marketing like PPC, SEO, social media? How do they differ from each other? How marketing funnel works? Like what are some call metrics to track like visits, conversion rate? If you know the basics, then probably you will be more confident to interpret these data and know where to optimize the efforts and not wasting time and wasting marketing dollars in the strategies that won't work. On the other hand, if you jump into practical experience without basics, you will get confused and you won't know the right direction to optimize your marketing efforts. So there are a bunch of free online resources you can learn about digital marketing basics like YouTube, watching my channel, taking courses, and this also listen to my next advice, getting certifications. So certifications can increase your credibility and be seen as a proof to future employers that you have the knowledge and skill sets. I have been a hiring manager and I can tell you having certifications sometimes can make you outstanding because it shows me that you are an active learner and willing to take a step further to make yourself relevant to the job market. Just be clear though, if you are someone who already have some marketing experience, I wouldn't think it matters too much. But if you are a total beginner who don't have any experience, then definitely I would recommend having one to two relevant certificates. So not to have too many certificates on your resume because it also signals to me that you just don't think carefully before getting a certificate. And that's a red flag to me sometimes as a hiring manager. So think about the role you want to join, perhaps analytics focus, then get an analytics related certification. Google has a digital course with online live events, it offers free certificates covering the fundamentals in online marketing, and I definitely recommend getting started there. Other certificate courses like Samrush, HubSpot also provide a lot of good free courses for you to get started. I'll include the links below. 
The next step is to learn in-demand skills. So in-demand skills are highly valued by employers because of the demand and they will give you competitive advantage in the job market. This is something I'll definitely have done more intentionally. So now I'm telling you, you should at least understand what are the hardest skills in digital marketing and will make you stand out. And also the job market is tough right now. And so you're even competing with those people who are more experienced than you. As a person with no prior experience, you need to understand and learn all these in-demand skills. For example, some of the biggest one like how to use AI in digital marketing, data analytics. Your future employers always want someone who knows how to do more work with less time. So imagine someone who has worked in this field for over 10 years, but he never keeps himself updated, doesn't know how to use AI. But then imagine if you have no experience, but you understand how to use AI to generate content outlines, do researching, we can save around five hours per day. It will save your employees so much time. Convince to future employers that you know how to make use of the latest technology to better optimize the campaign and getting results. If you want to learn more about the latest skills trend in digital marketing, also check out my other video. I'll include the link below. Now I want you to take a step further to build a personal website once you understand all these basics and on-demand skills. So this personal website is just like your online portfolio. You can share your personal thoughts, document your journey, what kinds of knowledge you have learned, what are your thoughts in some hot topics in digital marketing. Building a personal website is just like working a project. So you're actually acquiring the experience that you need to get yourself prepared for the job market. So never think you need a job to start building experience. Visualize yourself, you're now a digital marketer. You can just build an online presence for any brands, including yourself. The bonus for this is you also build your personal branding, improving credibility, visibility, and proof for your future employers of your passion in digital marketing. You can just simply use WordPress, Squarespace, Wax, and learn how to set up these platforms yourself, install tracking, posting engaging content, or even set up ad campaign to drive traffic. You can even purchase a domain if you want. So the key here is you will acquire WeWork experience before even getting a job. And all these can be your portfolio as well. And these will put you ahead of most candidates who also don't have experience and have no online presence. Creating a website shows your future employers that you know how to do digital marketing. And that's a really strong proof. Because if you know how to be an online presence for yourself, very likely you can also help to build online presence for other brands as well. Another way to get experience is from volunteer work. I know what you're thinking, I shouldn't work for free. But as a beginner, experience is so much more important than getting paid. When I first first started working as a marketing intern, although fortunately I still got paid little, I need to work long hours, sometimes even weekends because that's a startup. But I learned so much and this experience also helped me later to find a full-time job in marketing without having a marketing degree and eventually got me into digital marketing career. You would be surprised by how many companies value marketing efforts and how many of them would be willing to work with you even if you don't have experience and you're willing to volunteer. A lot of nonprofit organizations really value marketing efforts to help them to build the online presence, doing social media, but they just don't have the budget. An easy way is to find these nonprofit organizations on LinkedIn. For example, just search education, nonprofit, or whatever industry you're interested in or you're driven to them. Then filter down nonprofit organizations. Then try to outreach them directly on LinkedIn or check out their websites and send them an email saying you personally want to help them and together with your personal site to impress them. I also recommend you to apply to a startup or small companies because compared with big companies, the competition is usually less keen. And also from my experience, usually these companies will have less strict hiring policy, which means they will also consider your other work portfolio, projects which are relevant even if you don't have any work experience. And they also wait more on your personality if you are keen to learn and have high flexibility because usually for these small companies, they have limited resources or hiring budget. Like for my case, the first marketing job I got into was exactly a tech startup. Well, I didn't have a marketing degree. So make sure you also apply to this company in your job search. 
Now you also need to expand your network in this field and LinkedIn is the top one. I'm not saying just making random friends there, but be more strategic in expanding your network. It not just help you to improve your visibility in a field, but also can help you unlock potential job opportunities that may not be advertised publicly. And a side bonus for this is you also learn so much faster from your network and understand the skill gap and the actions that you can take to fill that gap. So there are two types of networks I recommend. The first one is the mentors in digital marketing. So who are someone ahead of you in the journey? Don't have to be a top voice, but anyone who have more experience than you. So simply search for digital marketing and check out their profiles. If you find them interesting and you think you're gonna learn from them, try to send them a DM for a quick coffee chat. Alternatively, you can also join different mentoring platforms to find your mentors or other peers working in the field, like Broke Mentors, ADP List. And the second network is the hiring manager of the company that you wish to join. So simply search for the job titles like Marketing Director, Digital Marketing Manager, and look through if any of them has their hiring badge. If you are on premium, then it's just so easy to fill to them. And then again, just send them a DM for chatting to understand their daily challenges, the role and what your thoughts on solving their problems. So it's just to understand the roles and companies better rather than hard selling you as a job candidate. Besides LinkedIn, you can also check if any local meetup groups, events where you can connect with the peers in the field. Not necessarily just marketing, I highly encourage you to also join broader social events like a tech meetup because digital marketing is highly related to tech industry. So you can also meet other professionals in different fields for more potential collaborations or opportunities and to learn from them. I hope this video will give you more confidence in breaking into digital marketing even if you don't have any experience. Don't get discouraged if you're feeling stuck. I know it can be frustrating. I'm launching my digital marketing mentoring service. If you need any more personalized advice, where to start and how to find your unfair advantage, you can connect with me. And before you go, I also encourage you to watch my other video on my findings of the current digital marketing jobs so you know what the employers are expecting. I'm cheering for you. See you soon.